Okay. Попутного ветра. Oh yeah, I forgot I did that. Um, I'm trying out 1280 by 720 for this uh, recording session because the performance has been generally very, very good in the previous recording sessions. <laughs> 1024 by 768. Of course, the performance in here is kind of crap because there are 18 online AI contacts. Now let's see what's on the itinerary for today. For today, let me take a look at my list in this uh, metal pot. Okay, let's see. Test at seven. Need to do some studying beforehand. Make sure I get something. Uh, damn it! Wrong list. Okay, let's see here. Work on sketch, continue. Damn it, wrong list again. Okay. Now I've got the right list. Jesus Christ, this is a mess. Uh, let's see. Well, since I have not seen any suggestions on GSC forums, I'm just going to do what I want today. Ha <laughs> ha! So, I'm going to be interrupted by a bandit. Yay, harmonica! And I think I'm going to go for the tools first. And after that, well, I'll figure that out. But I think first I'm going to talk to a couple people for the purpose of the walkthrough. Ну, типа, привет. Bandits don't know anything about it. About stalkers. Nope. Okay, that's just uh, that guy all alone. Anybody in here? Bandit. Of your stalker. Oh shit! That's well, just a bunch of fleshes. Okay, let's just get the hell out of this area and see if the performance stays good enough. If not, I'll have to drop it back down to 1024 by 768. And this beginning portion of the video will just have to be letterboxed. Ooh. Oh, nice dodge. Yep, computer, you're disappointing me. Four minutes of letterboxed video. Oh no, that must be very terrible. Of course, now the UI looks a little stretched. Damn it. Okay, where am I going? Am I even going the right way? I didn't load my pistol and I didn't get any ammo. What the hell? Okay, I'll just stick with this for now. I don't feel like going back to the Skadovsk. I also like how my uh, uh, visibility meter up there is bugged out. Okay, so there's a guy here. Hey, sucker! I put it away. <laughs> I 
And look at this, and we're in the same place. Of course, he's not very helpful. No, However, there is a stash over this way, and it's very useful. with a bunch of ammo and a bandage or two. What is that sound I'm hearing? And I'm just hearing something scratch around here. I don't like it. Also, sun rays, yay! the main reason I'm getting crap performance. Well, that and the computer being built for three years ago, but that's beside the point. This uh, stamina potion or energy drink. Whoops! Not a good idea. <laughs> Almost fell in that. Actually, that would have been entirely inconsequential. Oh shit! Bloodsucker, run away. Yeah, it looks like I'm not going to run into any stalkers to chat with. So, much like the basic tools, you just ask around. And eventually, some loner stalkers, loner stalkers, will be willing to tell you that there are tools down here at the substation workshops. Enough. He says six, six of each, and he'll just take six different food items instead. Yay. Yay for easy mode. Now they're all happy, and you can still only talk to this guy. Fine, I'll just loot everything around here. Now the main thing you have to pay attention to with these people is not to have your gun ready. Yeah, have your gun equipped for too long, and they'll pretty much just go completely hostile. Which actually makes sense when you think about it. I mean, it's not Deus Ex Human Revolution, where you can run around with your shotgun out, and nobody gives a shit. That is, until you shoot it, then it's pure panic. But hey, tools for fine work. as well take care of a couple other quests. So I know this is right here, but I think I need to speak to Noah to be able to do that. This one is right here, so let's get on with that. And maybe I'll take care of this after that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're hostile now? What the hell?
Yeah, I just reloaded the save there. No real reason to be hostile with them, I say. I mean, they, they aren't certain other factions of mercenaries. This is certainly an area you need to look out for. Reason being, well, you can see it right there. Now, this isn't the first time you've seen these creatures, and certainly it won't be the last. You can stop throwing things now. Okay, this is just getting ridiculous. As you can probably guess, it's a total pain in the ass to deal with this. so much random crap everywhere that I can throw at you. I think that's it. Nothing really left to do but loot. And yes, that is dynamite. <laughs> Thank you. 
Судя по всему, экипаж погиб еще в воздухе, вертолет падал без управления. Бортовому компьютеру повезло больше. Так, сейчас поглядим, что в нем полезного. Ага, карта местности с какими-то пометками. Пригодится. I forgot this game doesn't subtitle everything like Clear Sky did. Um, if I remember right, the basic gist of what he said was something along the lines of the computers are fried, but the maps that we just got are intact. That's what I believe he said anyway. Let's have a look over here before, do, before, before we do anything else. Now that's one thing. The other significance of this building is down here. It would have the access card, or the key code, or anything to open it. I do believe the old uh, stalker door glitch works. In which, by which I mean dropping a weapon at the right angle, but I don't want to do that. Kind of breaks the uh, scripting of the area and makes it impossible to actually do anything. One thing I want to avoid, especially for this walkthrough, is breaking everything. God damn it, stop sprinting. What was that noise? Something definitely slammed back here. There we go. I decided to change my audio profile for this, much like I've been doing with Doom 3. So now it should sound a little better. Not quite creative EAX, but. It works for what it is. Now the question is, are there any more artifacts in this area that are worth the trouble that I can pick up with this detector? This audio prof profile certainly makes the game louder. Let's have some of this. Need the stamina improvement anyway. Yeah, it makes the game louder, but if do if my experience with Doom 3 is any indication, it shouldn't have any real negative effect on the audio mix, because that was uh, pretty much perfect in the last two videos I made of Doom 3. See, I think I'll actually put this off for later because I'm carrying and carrying a lot of stuff already. But I think I'll take a look at this uh, anomaly field and see if I can get anything out of it. Oh yeah. Do I have any chemical protectants? Yes, 
<laughs> oh shit, something saw me. Something saw me. Oh, it's just dogs. Okay. Falling over the place. If I remember right, this elusive artifact here is somewhere on top of this twisted tree. And it's surprisingly climbable. Despite uh, hills in this game with a far s less steep incline being completely impassable. There it is, there it is. Now, Kolobok, is that worth it? Stone blood, chemical protection, not really. Uh, whew, if I can find an artifact that reduces radiation, then sure. here safely. Okay, where to go next? I've got the tools, I've got maps. I'm pretty close to this area, so I think I'll investigate this next. And then, from there, I'll head back to the Skadovsk. See, Tamra's running, yep. Back to the Skadovsk. Turn in this uh, quest involving the maps. And the tools. And after that, I'll figure out what to do then. There's a quest involving this area, but I haven't gotten it yet, so... Whoa! Okay, unfortunately, this is another very chemical-radiated area. Chemical-irradiated, rather. And now my only chem uh, chemical protection is an artifact. That gives me radiation. Yay! Okay, ran right into that. That made me jump. This other stash is not really a stash, it's just a level item. Вся электроника внутри погорела. Даже изоляция на проводах расплавилась. Yep, <laughs> got the URL right the first time. Okay, let's see, where's... Where's Call of Pripyat? There we go. I think I'll just actually look up the information on those two quests I just did. Okay, the label is 
those missions. Okay, I wonder if they're under this one. Optional missions, nope. Okay, I don't know why this opens in a new window. Alright, it seems the ZSG isn't quite complete for Call Appropriate, so I'm resorting to YouTube videos to show the English audio for the, um, the two Stingray crash sites I just visited. This one, as you can see, well, you can probably read this out yourself if you're watching in anything higher than 240, but Buktis, however the hell that's pronounced. Uh, so credit for capturing this goes to him. 360p because fucking internet here is terrible. Looks like the crew died in midair and the helicopter simply crashed because there was nobody there to fly it. The onboard computer was a little luckier. I wonder if there's anything useful here. Ah, there's something. A map of the area with certain locations marked. That should come in handy. All the electronics inside burned out. Even the power cable sheaths melted. Okay, I just realized I probably didn't actually say anything at all because I wasn't holding down push to talk. But basically, uh, Perhaps home record button screwed up the video timing, which I had perfect, and I basically gave some free advice to the guy, Tez710, which is basically, don't stretch the image to 16.9, it looks like ass. Get out of my way, stupid thing. Okay, Skidovsk, straight to the east. Which is this way. I'll go around this swamp. See, I, I just don't. I just plain don't understand that. Why do people feel the need to stretch their image to 16:9 aspect ratio? It's like total ass. I mean, whatever bullshit things people these days have against different aspect ratios. It certainly isn't anywhere near worse than stretching the image. Free advice for everybody who makes videos. You see, I'd certainly be recording like a widescreen HD or native resolution if the hard drive space and graphics card capabilities allowed, but no. That is not the case. Oh. Connected of dice do not render a 69 letterboxed video for non 69 resolutions because that looks like total ass as well. Namely, if you have, if the viewer is watching on something that isn't a 69 monitor. God damn it. People just infuriate me with their lack of knowledge on how to actually make a video right. Okay, their 
friend these. Yep, stalkers. Here we go. New question. <laughs> okay, see that? That's how you figure it out the first time you're playing the game. But for a veteran like me, you will know automatically. Seriously, I have to say, I am uh, entered into two contests for an NVIDIA GeForce GTX uh, something or other 560 Ti, and I am really hoping I end up winning one of those. Cause I'd love to be able to play games like this at higher settings w with fraps running. Приветствую, Stalker. Решил сделать заказ? Wow, you are loud. You want to place an order? A pistol? I don't have fucking money on me, 